Let's play. Okay, we're gonna play Simba. Right here. You gotta get him, Simba. You're not catching him. Come on. You got that one. Bring him back to me. Bring him back to me, Simba. You're not gonna get the pom pom? Okay. Let me, let me get him. Okay. Ready? You ready? Somebody not playing? Come on, Simba. Simba. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I was in Hobby Lobby today and I saw these. And I thought Simba might like them. They're not pom-poms. They're not felt balls. Do you know what they are? They're clown noses. Clown noses. This is a 10 count bag. It was $2.99. Uh, I think this was in the party section. But I saw them and these are like, they're like Nerf balls. They have like a, a slit in them where you put them on your nose. Um, but I really thought Simba would like them. They just opened up a Hobby Lobby near me. Um, it used to be that the closest Hobby Lobby was about a half hour away. And now there's one uh, only a few miles away. So I'm really excited about that. So here's what it looks like. It's like a sponge, like a sponge ball. And then there's a slot here. So I'm gonna play with Simba. Let's see if he'll like this. Simba, it's over here. Come get it. it it's right here. Yeah, come on, you want it? You want it, Simba? You want it, Boo? You gonna play with it, Boo? No? You don't want it either? <laughs> Nobody wants it. So these clown noses are actually really light. So they're hard to throw and they don't bounce as well as I thought they would. What I like about them is that they're they're big enough not to get caught under a refrigerator or um or the stove or some furniture.
Well, it looks like Simba might like them after all. Simba has a dilemma. Does he go after the clown nose or does he go after the pom pom? It is 10.30 a.m. And I just gave Hydrox and Ditto a big plate of homemade raw food. That's like four scoops of the, the new chicken food. Um, Ditto's walking around. I also had to refill the automatic feeder this morning. So I went out there to put a fresh water in the water bowl and I noticed that the bowl of the automatic feeder was completely empty. There's usually at least a few crunchies in it, um, but it was completely empty so that means I have to refill it, so I did that, and I also um, filled up the heated kitty cafe with dry food um, because I am going on an overnight trip, so I want to make sure that Hydrox and Ditto have plenty of food. They will have plenty of food just with the automatic feeder alone, uh, but I just like making sure that they have a good amount. It is 1045. All of that food was eaten, so I just opened a can of food, mixed some water in, and now both Ditto and Hydrox are eating it. I'm driving in the Bronx in New York City, and I just had to document how bad the roads are. Look at that, oh my gosh. Um, I was like, why are people stopping? The reason why people were stopping is because the potholes were so big and there were so many of them. The road literally looked like Swiss cheese. I've never seen that many potholes in one area that were so big. I mean, some of those potholes were easily like four inches deep and they were wide. Like imagine, you know, one, two feet across. So, if you were not driving super slow, you can totally wreck your car. Totally wreck it. So right now I'm on the Cross Bronx Expressway and supposedly there's a big traffic jam on this road. I'm going to be sitting in traffic for about 15 minutes, but this road is always hit or miss. Um, Sometimes you can just fly right through it. Other times there's horrible traffic and today's gonna be one of those days, so. Marty, come on in. Yeah, meow, come on in. It's Marty, Marty just came inside. Marty's getting pets from grandpa. Marty's been visiting inside for quite a while now, right, Marty? She wants more pets. She says, give, give her more pets. Come on. Come on, Marty. Come on, Marty. Come on, Marty. These are the automatic feeders that I set up for the cats a few days ago. Um, they had dinner. Then they had breakfast and dinner yesterday, and then breakfast this morning, which is crunchies and the freeze-dried raw food. As you can see, they really did not eat their breakfast. So I wanna open these up and let's see what's left in them. And I also have to turn them off because otherwise they will try to dispense dinner again today. And uh, I will be giving cats, you know, dinner myself. So let's open these up. Okay. So here's what we have here. We have a little bit of crunchies left from dinner yesterday and looks like nobody has really touched breakfast today. I just shut that one off and here's another one. 
Look at that. Uh, yesterday's dinner was hardly eaten and looks like breakfast was not touched. So let me shut this one off. And here's today's breakfast. It looks like someone's been eating it. And it looks like almost all of yesterday's dinner was eaten. Okay. I just shut that one off also. So these will just stay like this today. And the cats can eat what they want during the day. And then I'm going to give them some homemade raw food for dinner. And I'm surprised that uh, they didn't eat the crunchies. So um, the first dinner out of these was raw food. It was the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. And... That's all gone. Um, and then breakfast the next day was what you see here. It was crunchies and freeze-dried raw. That's all gone. Um, and then dinner yesterday was crunchies and freeze-dried raw, and some of it's left. And then breakfast today is crunchies and freeze-dried raw, and some of it's left also. So this will be an experiment. Um, normally, I can't leave crunchies out for the cats. Like, I can't just free feed them and leave dry food out all day for them because they'll just totally overeat on it. Um, so I have to limit what they can eat on it, but that's why I'm surprised they're, they're not eating this. So it'll be an experiment. Simma just told me that it has nothing to do with them not liking the food because they do like the food. But since I'm home, they're expecting me to give them breakfast. They say I'm here. So they're expecting some good food. That's why they didn't want to eat what was out of the feeder because they expect me to give them better food. Right, Simba? But you guys are just going to have the crunchies and the freeze-dried, okay? That's what you guys are going to have, okay? Is that okay, Stella? Okay? That'll be your breakfast today. Meanwhile, I did put out uh, four scoops of homemade raw food for Hydrox and Ditto. And it's completely eaten. They ate everything that was on that plate, so I'm going to open a can of food for them. And there they go. They're both sharing a can of food. I mixed in a bunch of water to the food before I give it to them. So when I buy canned cat food, I really like to get my money's worth, which means I usually buy the pate because it will have the most cat food in the can. The cans are all the same uh, ounces, like it'll be like 5.5 ounces. But for actual meat content, the pate wins out because there is less water added to uh, the food in the can. What I then do is I mix it with water before I feed it to the cats. That extends the food and it also gives cats a uh, good hydration um, because it's very important to keep uh, your cat's kidneys healthy and kidneys stay healthy with good hydration and lots of water and it seems like there's an epidemic of kidney disease among cats i know so many cats and so many dogs actually that die uh, from kidney disease when their kidneys go out so whatever you can do to extend the life of your pet's kidneys that will extend the life of your pet. And proteins are really hard on kidneys. There's no way to feed a cat a low protein diet because cats are carnivores and you know they require meat to survive. But it is good to counterbalance all that protein with really good levels of hydration. Hydration is very important. Some people say, well, cats don't really drink a lot of water, uh, but they do. Um, I know the inside cats drink more water um, when I feed them dry food than when they have a lot of water in their food and when they're eating wet food and uh, food that I've mixed water into. So, for example, this morning I was kind of shocked at how little water was in the water bowls, but it would make sense because they've been eating nothing but dry food for the past three meals. So, so back to the canned cat food. Some people say that their cats don't like the pate uh, because it's too dense or it's too thick. Well, just mix some water into it and chances are very good that they'll like it better. Now, not all pates are the same. Some pates are more liquidy than others. Some are really soft and others are much more firm. It all just depends on the brand of the cat food. But as far as a bang for your buck and most value for your dollar, uh, pâtés definitely went out. The cats have some fresh cat grass. It grew about two inches over the past two days. I didn't even realize it was ready. I just gave it to them. They're having it as an appetizer before their meal. I like to give them cat grass before they eat 
kind of like a salad. Look at Simba, he's standing in the grass. This cat grass actually smells really good. It smells really fresh. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.